Okay, we're back. We're going to try some practice uh, finding the right pronoun to use uh, in a sentence, whether we use a subject pronoun or an object pronoun. Okay, so let's take a look next for contrast at sentence number three. The school sent his mother and he or him a second notice. Okay, wait, before, let's back up a little bit. Before we go on, let's remember that in addition to subjects and predicates in a sentence, we can also have objects. One kind of object is a direct object. Another kind is an indirect object. And a third kind is an object of the preposition. So when we do this next sentence, we're going to use the trick that we learned earlier in the year for finding direct objects and indirect objects. Okay? And these are parts of the sentence, parts of the sentence, pieces of a sentence that we use to put sentences together. All right, so the school sent his mother and he or him a second notice. Let's look for the subject first. Who or what is doing something in the sentence? Uh, it's the school, right? The school sent his mother and he or him a second notice. So the school is who or what is doing something. That's the subject in the sentence. And what did the school do? It sent. So we have a subject and a predicate. The school is what, who or what is doing something. And what did the school do? They sent. Now, if there's, a, there's always a subject and a predicate in a sentence, by definition of a complete sentence, but sometimes, not always, there's, sometimes there is a direct object. If there's a direct object, we can find it by doing this. Say the subject, say the predicate, and then ask what. If there's an answer to that question, that word that is the answer could be the direct object in the sentence. All right, so if I say school, say the subject, sent, say the predicate, ask what? School sent what? The notice. So in this sentence, notice is the direct object. Okay? Uh, if there's a direct object, there might also be an indirect object. Not always, but there might be. If there is, we're going to find it by doing this trick. Say the subject, say the predicate, say the direct object, and ask to whom or for whom. So if I say school, say the subject, sent, that's the predicate, notice, that's the direct object, to whom? To his mother and he or him. Okay. To his mother and all right, so look, we have a subject, school. What did the school do? It sent. School sent what? Direct the notice. That's the direct object. School sent direct object to whom? His mother and he or him. Okay, so if there's an answer to that question, to whom, that means that's the indirect object in this sentence. We have a subject a predicate, a direct object, and an indirect object. All right, now, finding the direct object and the indirect object is a little more involved in that, but that's the basic trick that we've used in our class to find them. And so we're just going to stick with that today rather than go more deeply into finding direct objects or indirect objects, all right? The point is that the pronoun that we're trying to decide which one to use, he or him, is an object in the sentence. It's an indirect object. So we have to use an objective pronoun. We have to use one of these pronouns over here, an objective pronoun, also called an object pronoun. So what's on that list? Him, not he. He is not on that list. He's on the nominative side, the subject pronoun side. Him is on the object pronoun side. So we have to use the school sent his mother and him a second notice. Now, 
We will hear people say, the school sent his mother and he a second notice. We tend to have a prejudice because we were corrected over and over when we were children and we said something like, my friend and me want to go to the pool. Somebody said, okay, but you have to say my friend and I want to go to the pool, right? And you said, okay, but we really didn't understand why. Now we understand why because my friend and I, that's the subject of the sentence. You can't say my friend and me, you have to say my friend and I. I is a subject pronoun. Um, so we tend, because we have that prejudice in favor of subject pronouns, we tend to use them in places that are wrong. That's why if you hear somebody say the school sent his mother and he a notice, they're exhibiting that prejudice for subject pronouns. Now, that's the complicated reason why we have to use him in this sentence. Let's think about the easy way. So, my mother and he or him, that is a compound indirect object. It has more than one part. So just take out the other half of that pronoun. So now we took out mother and we just have here him. I would say the school sent him a second notice. I wouldn't say the school sent he a second notice. I would say the school sent him a second notice. So because I would say the school sent him a second notice, I would say the school sent his mother and him a second notice. All right? Okay. Um, now, that's direct object, indirect object, but there's one more kind of object in a sentence, and that is an object of the preposition. We learned earlier in the semester that the object of a preposition is the noun at the end of a prepositional phrase. So, um, if we have a compound noun at the end of the um, prepositional phrase, sometimes we can end up using the wrong pronoun there. All right, so look at number five. A letter came from my father and I, or a letter came from my father and me. So in this sentence, letter is the subject. What did the letter do? It came. There's no direct object because if I say letter came what, there's no answer to that. If there's no direct object, there's no indirect object. But for my father and me, or I, for my father and me, or I, is a prepositional phrase. And it has two objects of the preposition. It's a compound object of the preposition. Two nouns at the end of the prepositional phrase. It's an object, an object of the preposition. So we have to use the objective pronoun, me, from this side. So I would say, a letter came from my father and me. That's the complicated way. Let's think about the easy way. Take out the other half of the compound. Father, take that part out. I would say, a letter came from me. I would never say, a letter came from I. A letter came from me. So if I say that, then I would say, a letter came from my father and me. Okay? All right, so we're going to end here. And thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.